Hello guys, this is TOD TV. I am that one dude, and today I'm coming to you with an advice video. It's kind of like an advice column on my channel where I'm going to take a question from one of my subscribers and try to give the best advice to everybody, um, basically answering the question. And hopefully, anybody that's watching this video can um, take the advice and hopefully um, use it, you know. So basically, um, I'm taking questions from any of my subscribers and the first question I got was how to start up a YouTube channel with no confidence and This question comes from Elizabeth. So thank you Elizabeth for asking this question first things first It's easy to create a channel on YouTube like I've done it Eight to nine times throughout the whole time YouTube has been available um, So that's been since like 2005 um, I've created eight to nine YouTube channels and hopefully um, this one's a good one um, for you guys to watch. So yeah, it's easy to create a YouTube channel But to do it with no confidence is the tricky part start off by recording yourself behind the camera without having to publish it to the internet So that way you can start to become um, Cautious of things you should and should not do um, You can get comfortable with holding the camera and the ways that looks the best um, knowing which angles to shoot from and you can be a perfectionist when it comes to editing. You can re start recording something, and if it doesn't look the way you want it to, if it's not the way you want to present yourself on the web, then you can go back and re-record yourself. It's not that hard. It's not going to take that much more time. You just got to do it and figure out the way you want it to look on the internet and re-record yourself if you have to. Um, that'll start to boost up your confidence a whole lot because you know what's going on You know the best ways to present yourself and yeah second thing It's hard to try to pretend to be something you're not I would suggest to always try to be yourself behind the camera and amplify it Basically what that means is once you're behind the camera Just turn yourself up a little bit turn up like say if you're really high energetic maybe Be way more high energetic. Maybe somebody would like that um, if you're really funny, then tell more jokes. Um, that, that's basically what that means. So just amplify yourself. Um, be yourself, though. Like, for real. Like, be yourself. Don't let anybody tell you, hey, create a fake character and you might become more famous. No, just be yourself because there's nobody like you. You're your own unique person. And that's what people would like to see. If, I mean, to the honest truth, if you're not that very entertaining then maybe YouTube isn't for you um, but be unique be yourself and don't try to be anything people persuade you to be um, that's the best advice I can give you on that topic your main goal on YouTube should not to be to become famous okay um, that, that's no way to look at YouTube you got to do it based off enjoying producing videos you got to enjoy producing videos to try to bring a smile to somebody's face to um, hopefully change somebody's life. Um, that, that's my main goal is to not only go into it as um, trying to become famous because that's far from what I'm trying to do, but try to do it as like a hobby. Enjoy producing the content, enjoy producing the videos to hopefully share to at least one person out there that um, is watching you and hopefully make, make them smile. Um, hopefully change their life, change their outlook on life, and hopefully um, just be able to do that. I mean, that's something really special right there just to be able to do. And I think everybody going into YouTube that's really small at the moment and just starting up should only look at that as their main focus and not try to become a YouTube star because that's not going to always work for everybody. Like I said, if you're not really that entertaining, then you're not going to be a YouTube star you just got to look at it as You're going into it as a hobby enjoying producing the video enjoy seeing yourself on the internet and Yeah, but to really answer the question is You shouldn't really have a lack of confidence when recording yourself because if you really like sit down and think about it You're only behind an object which is the camera you're only behind the camera and it shouldn't be you being intimidated by the camera because there's nobody behind it unless you have somebody helping you record but there's nobody behind it it's you and only you seeing you record yourself 
seeing um, the videos after you recorded yourself. You're the only one that's going to edit it unless you have somebody else that's going to edit it for you. But you're recording yourself. You shouldn't be intimidated by the camera because you're going to be the one that controls the way it looks and controlling um, how the people see you. So just be confident looking into the camera because it's kind of like talking to yourself. So a lot of people do it. Not a lot of people want to admit it, but a lot of people do talk to themselves. And you got to realize it's just like talking to yourself. That's basically what you're doing anyways. So talk to yourself, talk into the camera, be confident, and just realize you're only talking to yourself at the moment until you actually release the video. And even then, you're still kind of talking to yourself. So just pretend or just think that way because that's really how it is. And think that way. And it should drive your confidence way more higher to the max. And hopefully that way you can start doing your YouTube. The next thing is you got to make your YouTube channel appealing. You got to do your channel art. You got to make that appealing. You got to do thumbnails and etc. And once you're in rhythm and producing your videos, you'll start to realize that this isn't going to affect your everyday life. And hopefully that will drive your... Um, that will drive your confidence to the max, you know? So realize that you're not going to be affected by this in your everyday life. Every, your everyday life is going to go the same way as it has for the last years you've been alive. So just realize that, that it's not going to affect you that much. Just be confident and be yourself, you know? Be yourself and your confidence will rise to its max. And then you'll start producing the great content I know that you know you can produce. And last thing is, if you're producing the best quality videos you can do and putting them out there regularly, like maybe once or twice a week, subscribers will come. All right? It's different for everybody else. Um, it might be slower. It might be faster than most people. Um, but just think about this. There are 7 billion people on this earth, and probably over half of those people watch YouTube. If you're producing once or twice a week, your chances are better. Okay, You're being more consistent. There's more chance, if you have more content on your channel, that they'll come and watch you. Because you have a lot to show. Um, if you have your channel art and everything else that looks really appealing to the audience, then they will come. If you're unique in your own self and... Um, have really good confidence in producing the best quality videos you can do, then they will watch your stuff. Um, everybody has a different timeline. Um, you might get 3,000 subscribers within the first three months. You might get 3,000 subscribers within three years. But you shouldn't always have the mindset that you're not looking to become a YouTube star. You're not looking to become YouTube famous. you got to have in the mindset that you're trying to be the best you you can be and you're trying to at least affect one person, whether it's put a smile on their face or you're trying to just affect their daily life and try to pr produce and boost their confidence, um, just like I'm trying to produce and b boost your confidence. So just think of it like that. Um, and once you do, you should have a blast producing these videos, just like I am. I'm having a great time producing these videos, and hopefully I'm trying to affect at least one person, um, and that's basically what I'm trying to do, and that's what you should be trying to do too. So thank you, Elizabeth, for getting the ball rolling with asking the first question. Um, I'm, willing to at, um, I'm willing to take any other questions um, down in the comment section below, so go ahead and ask those if you want, and hopefully in the next video, which could be next week or something like that, um, I will try to give you the best advice I can on that one too. So thank you guys for watching. This is TOD TV. I am that one dude and have a great day.